Hi everyone, welcome to your 1.5 notes. Now we are getting into other things that can be happening with angles. Back in section 1.4, you learned how to name angles, measure angles, add angles, and even what happens when you bisect angles. So now in section 1.5, we're gonna look at different types of angle pair relationships that can occur. So our first angle pair relationship is what we call complementary angles. Not the same complement as, hey, you're looking good today. That's with an I. This complementary is with an E. So complementary angles are two angles that add up to 90 degrees. So for example, if I need to come up with angles that add up to 90 degrees, maybe I would have a 20 degree angle, and then its complement would be a 70 degree angle or 10 and 80, or 5 and 85. So can you pick the complementary angles out of the set in the multiple choice questions? Hopefully you picked 30 and 60. Good job. On to supplementary angles. Supplementary angles are two angles that add up to 180 degrees. So complementary adds up to 180, supplementary adds up to 180. So maybe I have a 100 degree angle and its supplement would be an 80 degree angle. Or 120 and 60, or 90 and 90. Or, can you pick out the supplementary angles from the model choice questions? Hopefully you picked 110 and 70. Adjacent angles are two angles that share a common vertex and side. So the examples that I put in the last two problems, those were not adjacent angles. They were not touching each other, or like I like to think of those angles holding hands. Um, so if we have an angle here, and I put a ray through the middle, angle 1 and angle 2 would be adjacent angles because they're right next to each other. They share a common vertex, and they share a common side. So in this example here, and this should really be divided into three different chunks, we're kind of like... There we go, three different problems. We're deciding whether we have complementary, sup supplementary, or adjacent angles. So on the left, those two angles are not touching each other, so they are not adjacent. They don't have the same vertex. They don't share a side. So now let's add them together. What does 65 plus 115 add up to? Well, they add up to 180 degrees, so that would make them supplementary angles. In the middle... I have no numbers there to add. Are those angles touching each other? Yes. More importantly, do they share the same vertex? Yes. Do they have a side in common? Yes. So those would be adjacent angles. And then over on the far right, I have a 30 plus 60, which makes 90. So that makes those complementary. So what is the difference between complementary and supplementary? So let's go through this again. Supplementary angles are what? Angles that add up, add up to 180 degrees. Complementary angles are what? Two angles that add up to 90 degrees. And adjacent angles are what? Two angles that share a common end share a common vertex, sorry, and a common side. Good. Okay, so here is the next example. Given that angle one is complement, a complementary angle, so that means that they add to 90 degrees, so angle one and angle two are complementary angles, and angle one is 68 degrees, well, the measure of angle 2 is going to be equal to 90 minus 68 degrees, which is 22 degrees, right? Because 22 plus 68 makes 90. Let's go to part B, which is supplementary. So here they're telling us that angle 3 and angle 4 are supplements of each other. 
Angle 4 is 56, so remember supplement adds to 180 degrees. So the measure of angle 3 is going to be equal to 180 minus 56, and 180 minus 56 is 124 degrees. So 124 degrees. Answer. Complementary adds up to 90. Supplementary adds up to 180. Okay, so let's throw some algebra into the mix. Here is our first algebra problem. So notice we have two adjacent angles. We've got this angle right here, and we've got this angle over here. Notice they share a common vertex and a common side, so they're adjacent angles. Notice also that when you put them together, they create a straight line at the bottom or a straight angle. And what do we know about straight angles? Straight angles add up to 180 degrees. So that means that those two angles are going to add up to 180 degrees. And what do we call two angles that add up to 180 degrees? Supplementary, right. So they're supplementary angles. They're going to add up to 180 degrees. So now all we have to do is do the left side plus the right side. I'm not getting my colors the same, but that's okay, close enough, and equal it to 180. So the left was 2x plus 14. The right is 4x minus 20. I ran out of space there. And equal that to 180. I can make that better. 20 equals 180. Okay, combine your like terms. What do you get? Hopefully you got 6x minus 6 equals 180. Adding 6 on both sides gets us 6x equals 186. 186 divided by 6 is 31. But we're not done. We've got to plug it back in because look at what we're finding. The measure of each of those individual angles. So let's plug into the left first. 2 times 31 plus 14. And yes, it's Friday afternoon, so I'm going to let the calculator do the work for me. 2 times 31 plus 14 is 76 degrees. Plug it in on the right. 4 times 31 minus 20. 4 times 31 minus 20 is 104. When I add those together, do I get 180? You bet I do. So the measure of angle X, Y, W, that's the green, is equal to 76. The measure of angle W, Y, Z, that's the red, is equal to 104 degrees. Answer. Okay, algebra problem number two. Ooh, I like this one. Do you know why I like this one? Because I see a little box in that angle. What does that little box mean again? It means that we have a right angle. That means we have a 90 degrees. So I've got two angles. I've got this angle and another angle that are adjacent to each other. And if they both add up to a 90 degrees, that makes them complementary. So what do complementary angles do? It's two angles that add up to equal 90. Well, what are those two angles? The red one was a 2x. The blue one was just x. Now that's a nice easy equation to solve. 2x plus 1x is 3x equals 90. Divide by 3 gets us 30. Plug it in, plug it in. The measure of angle x, w, or sorry, x, y, w. x, w, y, w is the red one. 2 times 30 is 60. So that's 60 degrees. And then the measure of angle w, y, z. It's just plain old x. And what was x? 30. Does 60 plus 30 add up to 90? Yes, it does. So we know that we did it right. Okay. So now this is going to get us into two other types of angle pair relationships. And I kind of tricked you a little bit. We already did a linear pair problem two examples ago. So a linear pair are two adjacent angles that make a straight line. So for example, if I have a straight line, 
and I have a ray coming off of it, angle one and angle two would make a linear pair. So what's true about linear pairs? If they make a straight line, then they also are going to be supplementary. So supplementary angles that are adjacent to each other automatically are a linear pair because they would add up to 180. And which type of angle is 180 degrees? A straight angle. What does a straight angle look like? A line. So we got linear pair, and then our last one is vertical angles. Vertical angles are two angles whose sides are opposite rays. Oh, that sounds confusing. Let's figure that one out. All right, so let's do an angle. Here's an angle. Now, if I were to go, don't put this, just watch. If I were to go opposite direction of that top side of that angle. Does everybody see how I would get a straight line going in the opposite? Because remember opposite rays, aren't they just opposite? Makes straight lines. And if I went opposite in the other direction that way from the side of that angle, it would come like this. So does everybody kind of see how we just have two lines intersecting each other? Yeah, that's pretty much what we've got going. So the angles created, so this was angle one, when I extended the rays opposite, I got my new angle two. And what's nice about vertical angles, they're the same measure. Do they look like they're the same measure? Because they are. So angle one, oops, I don't know what that is. Angle one is congruent to angle two, which means they are gonna have the same degree. So if one was 60 degrees, two would be 60 degrees. If one was 30 degrees, two would be 30 degrees. Okay, so now let's put this all together. Are we ready? Yeah, you all shout it. Yes, yes, we can do this, Mrs. Crowley, right? Yeah, maybe not, but we'll pretend. Okay, identify all the linear pairs and then identify all of the vertical angles. So let's do linear pairs first. Okay, so linear pairs. So I'm trying to look for straight lines. Here are my straight lines. If I look on top of that straight line, I've got three angles. One, two, and three make that straight line. That's not a pair. That's a trio. So that's not going to work. Now let's go below. There I have a pair. Does everybody see how angle four and angle five make a straight line? They do. Okay, so let's find another straight line. Here's my only other straight line. To the right of it, I have a trio, so that's not a pair. But below it, Ooh, one and four, those make a linear pair. And those are the only two lines we have because the other line at three, between three and two, is not a full line. It stops. It doesn't go any further. Okay, so now let's do our vertical angles. Vertical angles. Okay, so vertical angles. So I'm looking for that X. Where do I have an X? I need two straight lines that intersect each other. There are my two straight lines that intersect each other. Here I have four, that's an angle, but over on the other side, I only have two and three together. And that's not just one angle, it's two angles. So not a vertical angle there. But if you look here at one, notice if I shoot straight across, I have five. Those look like they're the same. So angle one and angle five are the only pair of vertical angles that we have here. Okay, so now let's throw some algebra into our mix for our last example. Here we go. Can I do it in two minutes before they start announcing things? So we need to find the value of x and find the value of y. So now if I totally ignore this part right here, I'm just going to cross it out, ignore it, it's not there, pretend it's not there. Notice we have a straight line. We have a ray going through it, which makes we, us have adjacent angles that make a straight line. So we've got a linear pair. What's true about a linear pair? They're supplementary. What's true about supplementary angles? They're two angles that add up to 180 degrees. So what are my two angles? Well, one of them is a 9x plus 20. The other one is 7x. Combining like terms gets us 16x plus 20 equals 180. Subtracting gets us 16x equals 160. Dividing gets us 10. Ooh, that was nice. And look what I'm asked to find, x. So I'm done. Mm, not quite. i got to find y yet. So now let's bring that y back into the 
the picture. Here you come. Come back. All right, so now let's look. Ignore this part right here. Now notice we have vertical angles, right? So what's true about vertical angles? Vertical angles are the same. Well, this has a Y in it, but notice across here I have a 7 and an X. And what did we just say X was? We just said X was 10. What's 7 times 10? 70. So if that's 70 and I shoot straight across to the other side, that also must be 70. So there's your equation. 2Y equals 70. I almost did it. Divide by 2 gets us 35. There you go, bus riders. Adios. Everybody have a good day. Move on to your next assignment.